Your mobile phone is a big data collector. It collects lots and lots of data related to your physical activities. So in this video, you will see on how we can leverage the data available in the iPhone health app, apply some data analysis and data science to better understand your physical activities. For example, a complete yearly view in a non-aggregated way or an activity heat map by weekday and hour and much, much more. Now, such analyses are not possible with the iPhone standard health app. The examples which I'll show you in this video are based on my iPhone health data. But if you want to try out all the analytics on your data, you can visit my website experiencedatascience.com. On this website, you will see a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can take your iPhone health data and make some cutting-edge analytics on it without writing a single line of code. Okay, let's get started and let me first explain on how iPhone stores the health data. Every physical step you take, if you have an iPhone with you, it will create a data record. And this data record has a type indicating a step count identifier. It has got a date, it has got a start time of your activity, the end time of the activity and a value which indicates the number of steps taken. And these steps could correspond to any movement, walking or running. I have my iPhone since 3 years now and the question comes to my mind is that how many total number of steps I have taken in 3 years. So I started making analysis on the data stored in my iPhone health app. And this bar graph shows me a total number of steps taken for the last 3 years for the record type step count. 4.2 million steps is what this analysis shows me. I was surprised to see this analysis as I was looking at this kind of data for the first time and the standard iPhone health app does not give me such analysis. Another very interesting analysis is to have a full year view. Now iPhone gives a year level analysis but it is aggregated on a monthly basis and when you aggregate you lose information. So here is a yearly analysis for the year 2022 in a non-aggregated way. In this visual, you have the actual dates of the year and a total step count for that day. I can see that for some days I had not much activity, which is not too great and now motivates me to do some more physical activity. Such motivational inspirations are lost when you aggregate the data. So this non-aggregated yearly view is much, much more informative and inspirational compared to the standard iPhone analysis. Let us move to another motivational analysis which is the heat map analysis. Here you see the weekdays in y axis and the hours in x axis. Dark red color indicates high activity. You can observe that in general around 8 o'clock and 14 o'clock are time of high activity. The more red the heat map becomes higher is your level of physical activity. And this analysis can visually motivate you to do more physical activity by making things more red on this visualization. You can also analyze your physical activity in more detail. This analysis shows the number of steps which I taken on the day of 9th of June 2022. You can see a peak of 2783 steps around 10 o'clock in the morning. And this corresponds to a high intensity running exercise. It is very useful to see such peaks and its values as it gives you a target to reach. So I can attempt now to break my own record of 2783 steps during my next high intensity running exercise. Alright my friends, I hope I have motivated you to analyze your health data and go for that extra physical activity. If yes, then please do subscribe to the channel, like and comment on the video. You can also try out all the analytics which are shown in the video as well as many more on my website experiencedatascience.com. Thank you for watching.